Hello and welcome to the trailer reaction to The Girl in the Spider's Web, a new film that will be coming out soon enough. I actually don't have the date on me. But anyways, uh, we are a film and television news reviews and trailers uh, reaction uh, a show called Screen Source, and we drop shows every Sunday um, around 7, 8 p.m., just depending on the time, I guess. Um, and so if you want to see a full-length show of a lot of uh, those things that I just mentioned, please tune in on youtube.com slash color circuit. Otherwise, let's get this trailer out of the way, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards. I feel like you have to do pre-trailer trailers now. It's just like a staple. Sorry I said those things. You know how much I love you, don't you? Who the hell are you? Oh shit. I'm a fan of yours. The CEO who beat up two prostitutes, but then got acquitted in court yesterday. Get me down. I'm transferring 20% of your cash to these two girls. I'm calling down to security. The rest, I'm transferring to your wife. Account number. Don't. If I have one line, one, two. Take your child and leave. He won't hurt you again. Oh, fuck Mr. Yeah. Chen has bankrolled your company for years. Isn't this his wife? No, bitch! You try to contact your wife again, or if anything unexpected should happen to her, this video will be sent to him. Who are you? Are you not Elizabeth Salata, the writer of wrongs? The girl who hurts men, who hurt women. I could never figure it out. Why did you help everyone? But me? Almost looks like an action oh film. Oh my god, it's Claire Foy. I didn't even recognize her. Oh my god. She looks amazing. Holy shit. Why is it this bit? Uh-uh, I would not. Why is it that. spiders don't get stuck in their own webs? Holy shit. All right, so um, wow. that was the Girl in the Spider's Web trailer. I know that this dropped um, over at um, Can Cannes, I think it's pronounced. Can it's Cannes. Can. Can film, uh, Con. Can Con Film Festival, um, along with like a lot of other things, like uh, Black Klansman <clears throat> and a bunch of other things. But anyways, uh, there was some hype behind this, obviously, because it's a rebooting, kind of a rebooting of the series. The first movie they made, at least for America, was Girl in the Spider, or I'm sorry, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, and they're jumping two books and now going over into The Girl with the Spider's Web. Now, the um, there is a, it's Swedish, I believe. There's a Swedish version of all three of the original ones. I don't know if they're ever going to make a fourth one in Sweden. Um, and I digress, and I can go in a little bit more of the lore of all of this. But initially, how did you guys feel about this trailer? Um I, I like the trailer. You did. It definitely hooked me. Like, uh, mm. it does seem. You mentioned it, it. Seems much more like it's almost an action film. It seems like. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, yeah. I. Uh, yeah. Jessica. Yeah, it got me too. I, I'm, I'm interested. I definitely gonna, I'm gonna see this, and I'm gonna see it in theaters because I love Claire Foy, and this looks really good. What else would I have seen um, Claire Foy in? You wouldn't. I wouldn't have. But what else <laughs> have okay. people seen? Uh, <laughs> uh, the Crown. Okay. Yes. 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 Mm. That that's where I recognize her from. Yeah. Um. But she's awesome. She's really great. Um, yeah. You didn't even recognize her with the makeup on no, at first. I had no clue that you was did her. a good job. I was then. like, "Who is that? I know who that is." <laughs> right. And then I 
I didn't know until they actually put her name this up on the screen. Um, yeah. I was uh, I was interested because I was like, is this trailer just going to be a scene from the movie, which mm-hmm. is what a lot of this trailer was. Yeah, like, right. I had that same thought. It was right. like, it didn't really show much. It seemed more like a, is it a teaser trailer? No, it's an official trailer. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. seemed like a teaser trailer because for the longest time, it was just that one like interrogation. Yeah. Scene. yeah. And I there's few trailers I've seen where they do scenes that long. Mm-hmm. Um, but I thought it was pretty good, especially for people that don't understand um, what Lisbeth Salander's um, life is like. It kind of brought you into what that was. I thought um, I have a lot to say about this because I, it's one of my favorite book series. I've uh, read them all. I'm almost done with this one, so I won't say any spoilers. Um, but I will say that the um, newest book is not written by the original author. It is David Lagerkrantz. Um, Although he does sound uh, also what, Swedish. Yeah, I believe he is. Yeah. It's continuing Stieg Larsson's Millennium series. The first three, I mean, I can't say enough um, about these books. It's really well done. This uh, female protagonist um, has really kind of uh, changed the, the way I think a lot of people have looked at um, stories like this. Uh, a lot of people are also turned off by the first film or at least the first book even because there is a scene there that's kind of graphic. But it's graphic in a way that, the, I mean, the, in, in a lot of ways, it's, a, it's, a, it's very much a revenge story. Yeah, um, she's a feminist vigilante is what right, she is. essentially. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. almost feels a little bit like Mr. Robot also, if you're yeah. a fan of that series and you're interested in kind of um, this uh, uh, anonymous uh, idea of people like online hackers that are doing things in, in a vigilante sort of way. Mm-hmm. Hers is a little, her story is a little bit different because she does a lot of online stuff but she's also very physical too Mm. um you'll see as the story progresses that she um uh she learns how to box um and um clearly this trailer is taking a a more action action action-sided turn to this Mm. which Mm. i'm a little bit indifferent on to be honest with you for right now because this i will say so far from whatever in the book it is pretty action-packed and the first several movies do have that and books um, but it is more so about the relationship between her and the um, director of the Millennium, uh, the Millennium, um, um, mm, not magazine. series, magazine. Thank you. Um, I think it's a magazine, right? It or is. Like yes, yes. Book. Uh, I believe it's a magazine. Um, Company or something. And uh, you're going to see, and also in this book too, she, uh, and again, I'm not going to get into spoiler territory here, but she's not. Um, in the beginning, it is focused a little bit less on her, but the trailer was f- completely focused on her. Mm-hmm. And I get that because people are tuning in to watch uh, tuning in to watch this probably because they want to see more of her. More so actually, Elizabeth. let me ask yeah. you that. Like, um, do you feel with what you saw, do you feel like um, and kind of what you were talking about, this, someone could come in and watch this movie? If they didn't watch uh, Dragon Tattoo. I think they could. And, and from what I've read so far, kind of yes on that as well. Um, they, the, the way this author has gone about it um, is, and there's a huge story too about um, the rights to this, these stories and the mm-hmm. family fighting for the rights for the books, et cetera, et cetera. I won't go into it, but please do look up, uh, look that up. Cause it's a really interesting story. Um, I do think that you could probably go into it um with a uh w- without any prior knowledge and my guess is the way one of the reasons they jumped the next two films is because they kind of did want to do this refresh reboot where people that are maybe not familiar with the series mm-hmm. can go in and watch this movie mm-hmm. um and so it i mean because of this because the story is uh, so um strongly all webbed together if you will um strung together um it's not going to stray from that story or lore. So you could watch the first one in this, in this fourth story and, and, and probably piece all that information together. But um, uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. I'm kind of talking a lot, but it's again, because I'm very excited about this series and this movie. Um, and I could probably talk a bunch, much more on it, but I won't because this is a trailer reaction. Mm-hmm. We're not going to get into the books. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you do again, want to watch more of us talking about film and television mm-hmm. news reviews and more trailer reactions, make sure to tune into screen source again, which drops every Sunday mm-hmm. on youtube.com slash color circuit. Um, is there anything else you guys want to say about this uh-huh. trailer? If, or? This, if this looks good to you and you haven't, you aren't familiar with this series, I personally have not read the books and I haven't even watched the American um, version. But you've seen the original but trilogy. I've seen the original trilogy, which is the Swedish um, one with, uh, oh gosh, Numi Rapace. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. I love it. Um, I don't know if Dylan's as big of a fan as I am. I am pretty obsessed with it and I would recommend that you watch all of it. 
Yes, so. absolutely. Any last words? Uh, uh, no. No? <laughs> okay. No worries. No. Uh, we're live also almost every day on twitch.tv slash color circuit live where we talk more about film, comedy, and uh, do a lot of game stuff, video games, role-playing games, etc. So anyways, uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>